From, uh, from Adam or whatever it is, from Ishmael or Adam, what from heaven. Heaven. yeah, from heaven, they point towards that stone, and those who are nearest to that stone kiss the stone, right? And the idea is that circumvulating and bowing onto the stone, into the Kaaba, and kissing the stone. Who they bowing to? Towards the Kaaba, right? Towards the Kaaba, yeah, bowing to who? The, the, well, to, you see, important to make yeah, a distinction. Right. You can you can bow towards something, but yeah. bowing to who specifically? Yeah. To, the know, stone, to the stone? To the building? To the stone? To the no, building, they're not. To the building, right? So they're not. Well, no, no, you're not talking about. Finish. Right. You will finish. Let me finish. But yeah. you will you will finish. But you need to correct your understanding. Though. Muslims do not bow down to the stone or to the building or to the Kaaba. Okay. So they bow down have, to Allah alone. But it's okay. Is Allah in the Kaaba? No. So why did they bow towards the Kaaba then? It's just and if Allah is over there, why are they bowing towards the Kaaba? Sure, sure, sure. This is a house, a house that was built solely for the purpose of worshipping Allah, God of, God of Jesus, direction. God of Muhammad, God of Abraham, Allah, right? Yeah. This was a house specifically built to the worship. So people can go in. If you have the privilege inside this house and you can pray and people do that you pray to who you bow down inside the Kaaba to worship Allah so when we go to a masjid a mosque we go inside the mosque and we worship Allah even though we bow down it doesn't mean it doesn't mean it doesn't mean we are worshiping the mosque yeah we are in the present in the area which is a area specially secluded, isolated, to make Allah's name highest and to worship Him alone without any partners. That's the significance. Okay. Why do you have to circumambulate the house seven times anti-clockwise? Sure. So there are different reasons why certain rituals are associated with certain laws and practices that Allah has commanded us. For example, if Allah asks us to fast, he might say, you fast from this time to that time. If you ask, oh, why do you fast from before sunrise and after finish sunset? The question is not why are, because there will be endless number of questions. Why do we circumvent? Because this is the form of worship. We are glorifying Allah in this manner. To give you an understanding of the significance of this, everything in our universe, in your own self, they retain it. Uh, well, that was no, 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 a pagan no. practice. Wait, 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 wait. That's a pagan the, practice. The electrons. So you ask me to Excuse prove me. what are the pagan practices. My friend. And then the can second I, one, can I, can I you run between the Safa and Mawa. Can I finish? Can I finish? Why do you do that? That's again a pagan practice. Where, where? And when the remember, electrons, no, my friend. And remember, when the electrons the first, the first commandment. The first Is commandment of God. <laughs> the first <laughs> commandment of God. God said, I am the Lord your God. You should not make anything, right? Then why do you worship Jesus? That is similar to anything in heaven, on earth, or on the earth. You should not bow down to it, right? No. Sister, you should help him out. What are you doing over there? So why? You, this is why I said, the things you do are pagan practice. And in your Quran, he said, go to between the Safa and Mawa as the pagans. Practice it. Okay. Let me come back one by one. Remind me if I forget yeah, because any of the points. Wait, right? They still have the okay. present moon. Okay. Yeah. My friend, they got the present moon there, which yeah. is a pagan symbol. It's so, a pagan symbol. Circumvallation symbol. symbol. Is like, oh, so look, man. Look, we can be here till tomorrow. Listen, listen. These are these pagan things. May I explain to you? Significance. Right. Right. Make it quick. No, no, of course, no, why quick? No, 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 it's okay because we all have to go. Circumvallation. As I said, everything in the universe is rotating. The the stars, the planets, our planets rotate around. How about sun. dark? Wait. How about dark our, matter? Our galaxies. Is dark matter. They rotate. Look. And dark energy. Is that, is that is that rotating? Everything is dark energy rotating. Everything in this universe rational. is not stationary. Nothing is stationary. Dark energy. Everything is. rotates. No, it this is a fact of no, it reality. No, no, right? no, no. We can debate it's another time no, on this it issue. Doesn't. Don't worry. Don't worry. Doesn't rotate. Now, that's a misunderstanding. As you don't realize. So, excuse me. Do not interrupt. I'm explaining to my brother here. 
corner. Do you mind me interrupting? No, I don't mind. You don't mind. You're very close to long. If you want to learn, if you want to learn about it, I don't want to learn. You don't want to learn. We are dealing with it. Listen, go. If you want to, if you want me to explain to you about this issue, then discuss with him. If you want to discuss with him, then no, discuss with him. Up to you. So let me continue. We are talking about the pagan practice. Let me continue. Thank you. We are talking about the pagan practice of Islam. The reason you are trying to worship in Jesus. You're talking about being far, far, far away. My brother, my brother, listen. Why you keep hugging him? He's worshiping Jesus, and it's talking about being hugged. Very friendly, very friendly. Brother, you're worshiping a white man who brought him blue eyes. Why you keep hugging him? You do deserve to be. I know. Come on, listen. I wasn't. I wasn't serious. I wasn't serious. Listen, listen, listen. I wasn't serious. Okay, okay. Let me finish. We're talking about the second part of Jesus. Yes, we are. We are. Right. Circumambulating is a form of. I said worshiping God. Who gave you? Who told you to do that? No, I'm educating both of you. If you want to understand why we do this, allow me to explain it. That's only fair, right? Yeah, but they said. Okay. To understand the significance of this, I want to bring some examples and as analogies. For example, when we pray, because because God is pray, we kneel. What we do? We didn't just stay there like this and say. God said he made a whole. No. There are forms of prayer. For example, we bow down on our knees. We kneel. We even prostrate on the ground. These are forms. Now you will find that this is not something that originated with Islam or in Christianity or in Judaism. These forms of worshiping God exist long, long back. So according to your logic, that would be like oh, bowing down and prostration would be a pagan practice. But then you will somehow reconcile because you know in the Garden of Gethsemane. In the Bible, the Jesus goes down. Yeah, of course it is. May Wait, that's, Allah that's be pleased no, with the Prophet from the Bible. of Islam. Jesus the reading from the Bible. Jesus he goes down, have, have you, have you on the ground, he weeps and cries and asks for help yes. from God. And it's, and A form of worship. Now, no, even though hair, the pagans may have done this skin is like thousands of years beforehand, beforehand, it doesn't mean, oh, he's doing a pagan practice. It just shows this practice, this form, this particular way of ritual is accepted by God. God accepts you are bound down in your prostrations. Likewise, circumambulation of the Kaaba is something that God accepts as a form of worship. So if you just say, Who is in the Kaaba? There's no one in the Kaaba. So why do you circumambulate it? Because when you go to your mosque, you do not circumambulate the mosque. Because you go into the mosque the and reason, pray. The reason Why do you circumambulate the Kaaba if Allah is not in the Kaaba? Sure. The circumambulation is not because you are there. Because what we have just above this, in one of the heavens, there is also like, in fact, our Kaaba is like a replica of a house that is in one of the heavens where the, the angels the Kaaba is based did on you know that Saturn okay. when I look at God said yes. you should not make Kaaba. you should not make anything of I'm image of anything that is in heaven Kaaba. to do what you should not bow before it nor Kaaba. worship it exactly we don't, don't we don't worship the house but you just said the Kaaba me. is similar listen, to what is in listen, heaven listen, you take on it and you bow towards it you know, and you point you at the stone to forgive your sin you know, these are absolute pagans you are not understanding the, the first commandment of God excuse me you know that. understand what I'm saying no 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 when we have the bowing down Speaking. Are we bowing down in front of whoever is in front of us? That's exactly what you're doing. No. Because you go down on the holy pilgrims. Have you been to a church? Remember, wait, wait. the holy pilgrims. Excuse me. Have you been to a church? Specific. You go there specifically Friends. for worship. Have you been? Have you been to a church? Complete. Excuse me. You know, you, you know the black five. Okay. The, 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 what you expel? When, you, when you're in the church. When you're you in know, the church, you know the have you seen people world. kneeling down? We have the Look, we praying. You know the but we are talking about Kaaba. Wait, wait. Right? I want it's you to understand. Look, look. the Kaaba around is a pagan thing Saturn. that pre-exists um, um, Islam, no, pre-exists no, Muhammad, because he was there no, before. Who and the command who built it? The Kaaba. I don't know who built it. So do you like to know? I don't know who built it. So you should know that. Yeah. Well, if Abraham built it, the commandment of God came from the time of Moses, and that of the great. That cancels every my brother, pagan practice in humanity. Because the Jewish people, my brother, listen, who were given the commandment, do not circumambulate. They 
do not circumambulate Jerusalem temple, right? Even when it was in his speech. What did they do? not go around What did the Jewish people do in the Wailing Wall? What did they do? They are crying because they have been denied. How do they cry? They have been denied. No, they do not circumambulate it. Now, what do they do? You circumambulate the Kaaba because in Kaaba is your Allah. If you keep on talking and talking, the you need to understand. Your Allah, and that you is to, where you, you, you need to have a dialogue to understand. So I said, I said, look, in the wall. Are you see, moving to wall now? Talk about Kaaba. I will you know, talk about the Kaaba. No, go back to Kaaba. We don't want to go to the wall. The Kaaba. I just said the Jews do not circumambulate the temple. Of listen, Jerusalem. Listen, listen. So that's it. Nothing so, and the Jew, I, Judaism I was before know. Islam. So why are you circumambulating? Um, right. I, Even I assuming I, that I, I thought, I thought you remember that you've already asked that Ali, question. Do you know what I'm saying? It's my, that, 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 so, so it's my that, chance to explain to you why. Right. In yes. heaven, there is also another house. Like the Kaaba, because the Kaaba is a replica of that house, which is built for the purpose solely to worship of God by the angels. They're circumambulated. Right? And we worship God in, in the circumambulation. This so form of worship, I'm not sure because why you object, the because the form of worship, of like, excuse me, let me finish. Yes, Try to understand I, the significance. Misra. The form no, of worship of bowing down and prostrating, do you object? For example, if let's say you have a Do you have a problem with bowing down? And you find this idea. Towards, no, towards the Kaaba, I've got a problem with that. Do you have a form? Look, look, check it out. Not towards anything. The form, the manner of worshipping God by bowing down and prostrating. No, no problem with that. Right. No problem with that. So if now God told you in the Bible, the way you worship is just do rotation. Would you have a problem with that if God told you? No, sorry. If God told you, if God, yeah. No, no, if God said so, if God told you, it should be okay. So we are commanded by God through our prophets and of course prophets of the past to do this ah, so no. let me finish that's why you're mistaken okay, can i finish not the prophet of the past let me finish let me not finish. the prophet let me finish say that the prophet of islam no please not the prophet of the past you, because you, there's you, evidence you, you no to, you we to got to be finish. realistic example, not the prophet of the past because the prophet of the past you could talk about moses joshua elijah elisha none of them none of them circumambulate any house of god listen you somehow assume you even somehow, Abraham listen, didn't. You somehow assume the prophets of the past and their stories they're only found in the Christian text. Number one um, mistake is this. No, the Christian text goes back to the Jewish text for the information. Right? Mistake number two again. You think the Jewish text is all there is about what they did and what they said. No, that is not the total preservation of their practice and their customs and their teachings, right? Even in your New Testament, Jesus Christ is supposed to have said, not Jesus Christ, the authors, the authors. No, 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 I want you to understand. I want to understand. The author, the author of the New Testament, right? There are so many things Jesus said and Jesus did. So many things, but not everything is recorded in the in the New Testament, right? So you cannot assume everything that is there in our current Jewish text is everything that the prophets of the old said and did. But what we are saying, and practices is what our talking about. claim is this: doctrines and practices God, are God, Allah, God of Moses, God of Jesus, and God of Muhammad, peace be upon them all, informs us about what He commanded them. What what to do how to worship God so if God gives us a revelation that revelations become the arbiter arbitrator about what happened in the past you have to deal with the revelation is the revelation from Allah or not if the revelation is from Allah then you have to accept it that is why that is why when we say for example sacrifice come on sacrifice the sacrifice in the oh, New Testament you. or the Old Testament yeah, was, is not no, no, something no, that is instituted anew, afresh in the Jewish and Christian writings. Sacrificial system existed long before that in pagan practices according to your terminology because there were many pagans who did sacrifice. You have no problem with that even though pagans did it. 
you have no problem with that because your criteria is as long as there's a command from God and the real reason. We are told the reason. We are given the command, and that's why you cannot use your argument saying it's a pagan practice. Okay, I cannot accept. Okay, okay. Now, this, this, the problem is here. Can I? Because if the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob have given a law, right, a criteria upon which man should live and worship Him, right, and then 400 years, 600 years later, after Jesus, who actually lived by the law that the God of Abraham gave to them and then your God now came to contradict that and said now you can worship like the pagans whilst he actually persecuted the Jewish people for, for worshipping like the pagans of old so now you're telling me so what God you know what God forbid forbid and I call abomination in the time of Moses all the way. What did God forbid? That pagan pagan worship. worship. No, no. Pagan what what, what well, is in the Quran that God forbid in well, the Well, in the you said that you you said you go around the Kaaba, right? God forbid that? That's what your God says. No, no. No, he forbid that. He forbid that the Jewish text. He forbid that because he said no pagan, no pagan worship. No, no, excuse me. Uh, Daddy, let's yeah. focus. Where in the Christian and Jewish text God forbids circumambulation of his house? No, no, no. Ah, ah, first and foremost, there is nowhere where any edifice is given a place of adoration, a place of worship. You're not adoring it. Huh? You're mistaken. Uh, no, 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 I'm not mistaken. I'm saying this. I'm not mistaken. I'm not, I'm not mistaken. The issue there is this, first and foremost. The Kaaba, Do we adore wait a the Kaaba? Let me finish, sir. Let me finish. The Kaaba actually has a particular thing in it, or particular thing in it, where, where you actually have the option to kiss. Is that wrong or is that right? Yes. The black stone? Now, what is the intention of that, of that kiss? kiss? Do you kiss the Bible often? Some Christians I don't, do. I don't, I don't right. at all. So if, there's, someone, there's no if, if a Christian like kissed the Bible, would that be worshipping the Bible? It would be giving reverence and adoration no, 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 to I want, I want to understand, understand your logic. For, I want I don't to understand know. your logic. I don't know. I don't kiss okay. it. But do you have children? That was do you not, have children? That was not instructive. No, no, I want to understand you, your logic. You, no, the logic is, the logic we are talking about children. pagan, pagan practice. Do you kiss your children? I do. Do you worship them? Pra no, pra good. Kissing but something what is not worship. But what? No, 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 no. But I would only kiss someone or kiss something that I have affection or depth for. Now, how can you have affection for a stone, for, for a, a stone, building, for or a building. The, the cover? You know, see, you this, and also, not only that, all right, right, you actually had an edifice that had 360 idolatrous from when? things in it. From when? Oh, sorry, 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 please, no, me, you, from know, when? No, you know that history is correct. So let's no, 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 from when? Let's not go into it. From when? No, 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 May I ask yes, you to answer the question? Look, I am the, the Kaaba no, was allowing me. No, no, what I'm saying is look, the Kaaba did have many idols put into it. Yes. But since when? Since when, when, the, you, when the Koresh when the Koresh people were actually worshipers and of idols. Yeah. And then God and, 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 and did he remove them? If you allowed me to if you allowed me to speak, if you allowed me to speak, I would have said this thing. But the issue there is this. Now, why would an object, or any object for that matter, become a center of any form of worship, worship or adoration? When Moses, world. one of no, not yeah, one, one or two of the commandments of Moses, and Abrahamic the commandment of God, actually, the commandment of God, sorry, Moses. correct, the commandment the of God commandment. that came through Moses, the commandment of yeah. God, says this: that we should not allow anything, any object, to be a focus or a center of worship or an object of attraction to worship or as a sign of worship an insignia of worship of God. Sorry, where do you get this from? I want you to know, you know the, the Ten, ten Commandments. You know you know the Ten Commandments very well. You have, 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 you have
He said, I am the Lord your God. Image that should not make an that's image of anything that's that's that is in heaven or that's under that's the earth. Let's read it. No, no, no. no. You're misquoting me. You You're misquoting, no, misrepresenting. No, no. Let's read it. Let, let me put it. Now, the Lord thy God, who brought thee out of the land of Egypt and out of out of out of, out of bondage, thou should not make have any image. Thou should not make any image to yourself mm -hmm. of anything similar to what is in heaven or on earth and under the earth. Thou should not adore them. Thou should not bow down before them. So, so no, 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 this let is me, where. Let me, let me no, let's this get is that. No, let's, let's get this scripture right. Let's, get let's see what this scripture says. Now. That's exactly what. That's what it says. And, and then, then well, let's see whether this is what we do or not, or that you do it or not. Oh yeah. But why would you, you go to the cover? If that's why what you go to the Excuse me. Excuse sir. Why would you? Excuse me. Can you get the scripture? Better to every Muslim in the world, wherever they are, that Kaaba is a holy place where when they go there, they must circumvent it seven times, run between Safa and Mawa, because they, as the pagan does, it is in your Quran. Right. Just like can the pagan does, this is worship. Can I, I keep sir, reading this pagan sir, please. Can, I, can, can you I, read this right. again? Exodus chapter 20, verse 1. Yeah. Yeah. Slow. Yeah. I've missed you actually. <laughs> uh, and God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the sea, in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow thy, down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I am the Lord thy God. Slowly for, I said, you're skipping the crucial no, verse. No, no, let me go no, back. You're skipping the crucial point. Thou slowly, shalt slowly, not, not bow, down bow, to them. Thou, down. bow down thyself to them, and, and, nor serve them, nor serve them. for yeah. I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers unto the children, children unto, the unto the third and fourth children. generation okay, of them Okay, stop there. Stop. Right. Bow down stop. and serve Now, let me respond. Now, let me respond. Me. Why do you bow down Excuse me, you keep on repeating yeah. what we call, what we call this, you're trying not to understand your other you know, counterpart. Right. We, hear this out, yeah. we do not bow down to a mosque or the Kaaba or the Black Stone. What did I say? We do not bow down. We do not serve them. We do not take a God besides Allah that they are the gods. According to this commandment, it says, you should not bow down to them. We don't. We really? should not serve them. We don't. We should really? not take... Do you dispute what I said? Absolutely. Sir, I do. I, I do dispute. You don't dispute. No, 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 there's a reason. There's you, a reason why. There's you, a reason why. This discussion. No, no, this discussion is to end. Do you know why you end? Do you know why you end? I am telling you, when you, you don't bow down, down and serve the Kaaba, and you say no. A, just a, like, just like I say, you know, you Christians, you worship Melchizedek. All right, but you worship true, Melchizedek. Right. All right, we you worship Melchizedek we because I but say so. There's but you evidence. do, you do, you have the evidence. Go and look at it. Right. Can, can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? Unless, unless you admit Every that yes, year, Muslims have gone to Mecca, they do not right. bow down or do not speak. Can I ask a very simple question? This discussion has ended. It should end. You know the reason why it should end. I want you to accept it because there are one, there are many, there are billions of Muslims that have been given a mandate. To as bow one down? Of, as one, can I finish? Sir? Yeah, go and finish. As one of the five pillars, pillars of Islam. that they should arrive in a holy place. Do and that holy Muslims place, bow down. Excuse me, sir. Let to me Excuse me, let me finish, sir. That they must arrive in a holy place. And that holy place is where the Kaaba is. Now, sir, if you say that the Kaaba is not a holy place, you, no, no, please, Why is it strong and ugly? No, no, it's not a Roman argument. No, man, no, no, no. It's not a strong man argument. You know a strong man argument? It's not. It's because, because, listen, 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 I'll, I'll, because I'll, you know the reason right. why it's not a strong man no, no, argument. I'm going to tell you. No, 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 you cannot. I'm sorry. I have to stop you from a strong man argument. The, the, truth, the truth of the matter is listen, this. Listen. You know I respect you so much. No, so, no, 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 so on several occasions you have stopped me. Then let's have but, you know, but don't. You know what? End the discussion. Allow me. Allow me. No, I'm not going to allow you. I'm sorry. Because we read, you read the scripture. You should not bow down and serve them. And I told you, Muslims do there not. There is an edifice that is an image you that are is a, an object of reverence me, as a location of worship. And you are you, telling me you are not? so stubborn in your opinion about us. 
We are telling you and informing you and correcting you that, number one, we do not bow down to any object like the Kaaba or the mosque or the Quran or anything of this creation. We only bow down to Allah alone. This is the pure monotheism that you don't have. Anyone doesn't have, we have apart from Islam. We have it no, pure you, you and have, undiluted. No, no, you don't. We have a discussion. Let me finish. Right, let, let, let me Secondly, let me give you an example. we do not a serve Christian. the Kaaba. We do not serve the Kaaba. Do you understand what I'm saying? I do understand right. what you're saying. We do not serve but, the Kaaba as Allah, God besides Allah. But I am saying this to you. And you that the Kaaba, the Kaaba is an object that actually designates a place of reverence and worship, doesn't it? What did the scripture does say? It? Does it? No, no, I'm not going to answer you. Irrelevant. It is not irrelevant. What it does is, it? It is extremely relevant. You know why it's extremely relevant? Do you love relevant? your wife? Do you venerate her? That's not the point. Do you, do you love her? I venerate my wife. I love my wife. Do you worship her? I do not. Right. So when you love her, does it become worship? No, it doesn't. Right. So do you venerate no. and adore her? Is it become do you, worship? Do you say that? Excuse me. No, no, no. no. When I, you I adore... The act of going to Mecca and going to the mosque where the Kaaba is, it's just an act of veneration, of, of love and affection. Listen, if, I, if I adore you, you appear Excuse me. here. It's actually I, I find it does. I, I, I find it strange. The Christians, the Christians who worship the man, they are so desperate to make the Muslims like, oh, you Muslims are, you also have pagan practices. Out of your desperation. Do you actually know that? You, know you are I'm correct. So about, sorry. I you, are about you are correct about one thing. Any image of Jesus Christ that anybody pays worship to is idolatry. Any image of Mary that any man just says, oh, they go there just to kneel and pray is idolatry. Any so, building or church or any object is idolatry. Where, it is idolatry. So, so any object like why, your wife, when you adore her, is no, idolatry. No, no, no. Adore is different from and a place of veneration. Wait, wait. When a you place adore your it's not the wait, same. Wait, wait. It's not the same of. I of, want to understand something. Your logic. Hang on. I want to understand. Look, I, like no, I want to understand. I want to understand your logic. So, you adore your wife and you love your wife. Adoration, adoration, wow. and worshipful veneration are not the same thing. Sir, slowly. You do not slowly. go to the Kaaba because you just want to adore. Wait a moment. No, you Wait. go there because it's a place of solemn worship. That's what you do, so, and you know it. Okay, now look. So don't, 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 look, don't. Look, 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 look. Do you really the think Jews, people go to the place the of worship to worship that place? I never thought some people have a crazy eye like, like this. And I, you're not oh. a crazy person, are you? We don't go to a place of worship like a mosque or the Kaaba or the Prophet's Mosque mm. or in Jerusalem, the Al Quds. Mm. We don't go to those places to worship those places. Good. But the question, These places, the question listen, is listen, listen, listen. Why would a place, an edifice, which was a building which housed idols, a building that no. predates the this, religion? Please stop. This allow me this. houses. They did not have idols. The they were introduced the Kaaba, wrongly by the people later predates. and they were removed and cleansed historically, from them. Sir, historically, the Kaaba predates Pre Islam. The Kaaba Wrong. Abraham, Abraham and his Abraham, son Abraham, rebuilt it. Abraham, rebuilt it. Abraham, so the Kaaba not, is Abraham not... did not build the Kaaba. Go and find out. Do your historical check. Oh, yeah, yeah. Please, please. You know what? You know what? what? Sorry, gentlemen. You know, you know what? All I want to say is, as I, as you need Jesus no, Christ no, in your no, life. No. I love you. Let me hug you. <laughs> One day, and we will stand shoulder to shoulder, yeah. worshipping the God of Abraham, yeah. the God of Moses, yes. the God of Jesus, yes. and the God of Muhammad. No. You and I, we have to go. Go. I love we have you. To go. We have to go eat. Uh -huh.